Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. So I'm on my phone today, guys. I forgot my um, GoPro at the Airbnb. So I got to deal with this one for the day, man. So I appreciate y'all checking all the videos out. Today we're working in Tampa Palms. We're here for this dirty lanai cleaning behind me as well as a sidewalk and uh, exterior gutter cleaning we're going to be doing uh, as well as the soffits. I uh, appreciate all the support I get from you guys. Uh, we almost at 7,500 subscribers, so I thank y'all, you know what I'm saying, greatly. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. It just helps me get more views on YouTube, make sure the video gets out, I'm saying, to more people. So with that said, let's go check out the job. So this is the lanai here. Pretty dirty. Can't even see in there, man. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna be doing the entrance. Pretty black. Looks like the water settles right here in this corner, so I'm gonna be pushing some water outside of the cage. But man, look at this, this is really bad. Probably hasn't been clean in a minute. They do have this wood shed here, I told them about it. You know, I don't wanna be responsible for it. I'm gonna wet it down before I start, just to make sure I don't affect it, but you guys can see how bad this is. I'm gonna clean the cage. I guess I'm gonna have to do this uh, floor in sections because they didn't want to move all that stuff. And I don't really move a lot of things unless people are paying for it. I don't want to be responsible if I lift a flower pot or if I move some piece of, say, a piece of furniture and it breaks on me. So I don't want to be responsible. A lot of times, you know, I, I let the customers deal with that. You know, if it's small stuff, I may move it, like some chairs, but if it's like tables and flower pots and plants and stuff like that, I try to stay away from that because I had a plant come through the bottom of a uh, flower pot one time that I had to, you know what I'm saying, make right. But yeah, man, this is what we're doing back here. Let's go check out the side over here. It's not really that bad, man. Tell the truth, got a little bit of algae, little cobwebs on the the fascia and the uh, exterior, the gutters. I just got the windows put in. You can see it's still got the stickers on the windows. Uh, and then we're gonna be doing the walkway up here. We're gonna be doing this walkway, which ain't not much to it. We're not doing the driveway. They don't want the driveway done. And up here, we're gonna be doing the fascia. I see some dirt right here on the on the edge of that overhang same thing on this side here see some dirt right there all right man look like we're gonna be downstreaming first and um uh, you know if we need to mop up the mix with a 12 volt we'll do that let's get it so before we start you guys know it's best practice to just flood everything with water which over here they got some nice little plants and i always tell you guys i don't know nothing about plants i don't know nothing about flowers <laughs> So, if it's green, I just flood it with water before I start this mix, you know what I'm saying, just to be safe. Even though it's been raining down here in Florida, man, every day, like I said, today, man, it's going to be raining for sure today. It's 100% chance. So, I'm trying to get an early start today so I can get uh, these jobs done. I think I got three on the schedule. I got a busy, busy couple of days coming up, coming up so... I'm trying to get, you know saying, most of my jobs done so I don't have to reschedule. See how, how the weather plays with us today. Even though it's sunny right now, it ain't going to be like this all day. So we're going to get these um, plants wet up really good. A little property protection. Make sure we get down that, uh, Wooden shed.
going downstream. This cage, man, this thing looking good. It's looking pretty bad right now. I don't like uh, recording on my phone. And face. I mean, it's clear, but so close. This camera. This is bad. like hard to watch the camera and spray at the same time. <laughs> Get to these trees. I'll do whatever I can to get you guys this content, man. Good content. However I can. Uh, right here also. Okay, we got the cage downstream and it's looking good already. But it's not official until we do a little test. Let's find a spot. Let's check the spot out right here. Oh, it's melting like butter. Inside is all done. You can actually see through the screens now. Everything's nice and white. Bright out here, man. We're gonna do the floor now. Surface clean the floor. Move on to the soffits and then knock out the little, actually I might knock out the uh, little walkway get, so I can be done with the surface cleaner. And then we're gonna jump on the soffits. Yes, sir. You see I'm wetting down that wood shed just to make sure. I make sure I rinse all that right here, the table, you know, the kids' toys. You don't want the kids to be playing with bleach and stuff, man. So rinse that really well, guys.
gonna do the little front walkway for him now. Put a little downstream mix on there. We got some quick prints up here, clean that up. doing the driveway so so we're going downstream now and surface clean this right here all right so we got the front section done got that walkway looking good man we're gonna jump on this uh partial house wash like i said i'm just doing the exterior of the gutters soffits i've already wet the house down so i don't have to worry about any streaks the house is not really dirty. It's just that he got a little dinginess on the soffits. I know some guys, y'all won't do this unless y'all doing the house wash, but I'm not gonna pass up on this 250, man. If they wanna get that house done soon, I'll be back to do it, but easy money, man. Let's get it. up downstream in the back end of the house as you can tell right underneath there got some dark spots I'm gonna hit those right quick oh coming right off too coming right off like I said man some guys no, they're not gonna do this. They wanna wash the whole house or they ain't gonna do the whole job, but it's all good, man. Do what you feel. Now, if the house was dirty, I probably wouldn't. I probably would just tell them, look, let's do the whole house wash. It'll be more beneficial. You know, you don't have no clean streaks. If they insist, what do you say? You know what I'm saying? You gotta do the job. This customer here didn't want the house washed because it's not dirty, so it's all good. So, yeah, man, everything's coming up nicely. Even those dark spots are going away already. I'm just gonna let that dwell, come back around, um, rinse up to the truck, wrap it up, and we out of here. We got here at about eight o'clock, hour and a half. Hmm. I'll take it. Oh yeah, up here cleaning up good too. I don't see the algae spots that was on the edges. Oh, that is gone. Oh, that right there was gone. What's there is gone. Yes, sir, man. Nice and easy, downstreaming, baby. All right, getting our rinse on. Pretty easy job, man. Pretty good ticket to start the day off. So it's supposed to, supposed to rain around nine o'clock. It's like 9.30. I don't see no rain, man. I'm cool, I'm cool with it too. I appreciate you, Mother Nature. Let me get, let, let me get jiggy with it for a little bit. Yes, sir. Customer already saw the back. You know, he's pleased with it. Just wanna make sure I get the windows really good on, on this side here, cause uh, windows are new. So I know they're gonna be paying attention to it a little bit more. Finish rinsing this front area and that side over there. 
I'll see you guys on the recap. All right, guys, let's do a recap, shall we? Let's see here if you can see the gutters, fascia. Man, this camera is clean. Things like 8K over here. Those gutters are cleaned up. All that right there. Let's go check out the back for the most dramatic. Oh, let me show you guys. So I did the steps leading up in there you know what i'm saying just you gotta show out sometimes and go a little above and beyond so clean the steps leading in and man look at that Whew. thing is so clean man you can actually see outside of the <laughs> screens wow cleaned up back here too that is what you want right there didn't have to pull street or nothing everything is nice and clean man all right y'all we all done job came out great customers were so happy that they gave me a tip and i got uh some limes i don't know if you guys saw the lime tree I got limes, you know what I'm saying? For a cold brewski later on. They told me the uh these ones right here taste kind of sweet. How big this lime is, man. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'll be using that soon for something special at the house. Randy's playing good with us today. So thank God for that. We're gonna head up to uh right now we're in Tampa Palms. So we're gonna go up to New Tampa for a returning customer. Uh, I cleaned the driveway two weeks ago with a big pool cage and all of that. And um, they had some work done and got some stuff on the driveway. The guy wanted me to come back, touch it up for him. So we're gonna knock that out. So I see y'all when I get there. All right, y'all, we at the second job. My last job had to be rescheduled because the homeowner was getting some um, tree work done so he didn't want me to do it and then they keep cutting trees and putting mulch down and uh have the driveway all dirty so right now we're in Apollo Beach we're gonna be doing a wooden fence wooden fence again but this is the fence here is how it looks pretty beat up old fence but you know we're gonna make it look good this is the street this is the main road so we gotta get all that cleaned up, as well as the inside. As you guys can tell, that rain will come today. Look like it's forming on this side, cause I was in um, Tampa Palms, which is North Tampa, um, Northeast Tampa. So we didn't have no rain. It was nice and sunshine over there, but we knew this rain was gonna come. So if I don't see no lightning, I'm gonna continue working. All right, so fence is wet over here so we're gonna apply a mix to it before we start um, I'm just gonna put a downstream mix on this one with the super sud sucker at first I didn't think I was gonna have to do the fence on this side because usually the back side of the fence um, faces like woods and stuff like that so the HOA told him he had to get it fixed because this is the main road see the neighbors looks good actually all right so we got that soap coming out right now it's a little bit after 12 o'clock right now so hopefully we can get this knocked out on a timely manner customers say that he called at least two or three at least three companies that does pressure washing and commercial work everything you know what i'm saying exterior cleaning he said nobody wants to do the wood fence <laughs> that wood fence a, a whole different animal man very tedious you gotta be on point man you don't want to 
leave no lines on the wood. See, I think the problem is, man, some people, they just add too much um, SH to the wood. Like, you can't add 5% to no wood, man. It's going to burn it. Like me, the max I go on them is uh, about 3%. You know what I'm saying? 3% is good enough for me. That's like my, my, sweet, my sweet spot for uh, wooden fences. A 3% mix. Let it dwell for about, you know, 10 minutes. Come back, rinse it with the white tip. I always rinse it with a white tip. And then after that, I follow it with the oxalic acid. The, the ratio for the oxalic acid is 16 ounces of oxalic acid to one gallon of water. So that's the mix that I use. Uh oh, the rain is starting to come down a little bit. We'll get my rain suit soon. But yeah, man, one gallon of water, about 16 ounces of oxalic acid, uh, or you can call it one pound of oxalic acid to 16 gallons of, uh, to 16, to one gallon of water. Pretty easy stuff, man. I'm gonna start on the outside of the fence, get it nice and soaked up with this SH. Then I'm gonna uh, mess it with the white tip. So we got one side of the fence, the back side all cleaned up. As you can tell, I have no marks. Everything is nice and uniform. No marks whatsoever. No furring. Although sometimes you may have a little furring, but I don't have any uh, on this side. This side right here might be a little discolored. That's because they got the sprinkler system right there. So the sprinkler system made a uh, a spot that's more notice noticeable there's nothing i can really do about that um we're gonna continue working it's not really raining just a little bit of thundering i don't see no lightning though all right guys let's get it all right we're back on the inside now we're gonna do the same process just applying our sh over the fence put a little surfactant in there for my man don van riper that super blast. Y'all go check out Van, uh, my boy Don, man. Crazy guy right there. Shout out to my boy Miracle Pressure Washing. Let's do it. Shout out to my boy Freddie Pressure, the GOAT. Man, y'all don't know, man. I used to watch Freddie Pressure every day, but I couldn't wait for it to get home to watch Freddie Pressure. Once I find his channel, man, every day. I went back to the very first video and watched every single one. <laughs> That's my guy right there. Real humble dude, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I like Freddie cause he ain't like, he don't act like he too good, you know what I'm saying? Too big to help, you know what I'm saying, other people. And he gonna give you the, 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 the real deal, you know what I mean? He gonna give you the real deal. He gonna show you how to start with the bare minimum. For some reason, everybody thinks that you gotta start with all the bells and whistles, man. Everybody has a different path. Not everybody comes in the same way. Same way, you know what I'm saying, with the NFL, you know? You might have to go to JUCO. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's able to go to Power 5. You know what I'm saying? So. So not anybody's process, like I've been telling you guys, man. Everybody has a different story. So, shout out to my boys, man, for sure. A lot of great channels on YouTube, man. My, boy, my man, Mr. Deary. Powerful uh, improvements. Mr. Joe Deary. 
puts out good content, man. Real humble. I, I like the humble guys, man. I'm not with the with the guys that's like always trying to sell you something as soon as you click on their channel, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking nobody making a making a living. You know, everybody got their preferences, man. You know, it's just what I like. Shout out to everybody out there getting the money, though, for sure. The rain playing good with me, man. The rain playing playing real nice. Staying, staying dry a little bit under these trees. <laughs> Customer wants me to do the uh, driveway too while I'm out here. So, man, look at this ditch right here, boy. I want to step in that. Be a bad week. Be a bad day. All right, we're gonna finish um, applying this mix on here. I'm gonna let it sit while I go do the uh, oxalic acid on the outside of the fence. I'll see you guys when I get on the other side. See you on the other side. All right, so I got my mix made in my um, sprayer. It's already uh, mixed up. I got two gallons in here, so I got 32 ounces of uh, oxalic acid. I'm gonna apply it to the fence. Looking good already though, man. I'm gonna apply it to the fence, let it sit as I'm cleaning the inside. Come back out here, you know what I'm saying? After it's good dwelling for a good 30 minutes. Probably won't take me 30 minutes to do inside. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes to do inside. Come back and give it a rinse. All right, let's go. Like I said before in my other video with the wood, you apply this, then you come back and do a final rinse. On your final rinse, if you find a you know, couple of spots you miss, like I see a couple of spots I miss on the side of these boards, you can rinse those up at the same time. It won't be nothing major, you know what I'm saying, do that. But yeah, man, it's coming out really good. Look at the color. Oxalic uh, acid is a wood brightener. So, it brings the color out the wood. And there's a couple of little spots right here too. Wood cleaning is a little tedious, man. That's why a lot of people don't like doing it. But it looks good when you're done with it for sure.
All right, so we just got done applying the mix. We're gonna uh, let that sit. While we do the inside. Oh yeah, man. She's looking good. We're gonna come back and give it a good pound of rinse. On your on original rinse, I usually, I usually stay about a foot away from the surface with the uh, white tip. On my final rinse, I don't get so close to avoid furring the wood. So I um, stay back a little bit. It's more so like a, a rinse, more than a, trying to take layers off, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna start um, rinsing the inside of this fence. Get this job on the road. All right, the back is done. We'll do a recap at the end. I'm trying to beat this rain. So I'm gonna knock out the driveway. And we'll do a final recap so I can show you guys the back. How everything looks. The driveway is kind of moldy, dirty, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna downstream it and um, you know, surface clean it. I'm rinsing out my 12 volt um, battery uh, operated, uh, not 12 volt, 20 volt lithium battery uh, pump up sprayer. Inside, I meant to tell you guys that inside of this um, pump up sprayer, there's a there's a filter that you gotta clean. I didn't know that because I noticed it wasn't spraying that good. So um, that little filter in there, it comes out. Let's see if I can take it out for you guys. It's a little filter like this here. Make sure you take it out and clean it because I sealed a bunch of pavers and every one last one of these uh, filter filter passages were uh, clogged up. So. I took, it took a little while for me to get it, um, you know, cleaned up, man, because it was gunked up for months that I had been using it. So make sure you take that out before um, every no, every once in a while, clean it out. All right, let's get this driveway cleaned up. Are you done? Look at that. It looked like it's snowing, right? <laughs> Doing this just for you, my man. Special request, my man Don. That super blast. <laughs> I got that, that sticky inky. Nah, it's not. It's slow-mo. <laughs> I started at 12:15, uh, three hours, man. So driveways cleaned up real good. Sidewalk. I had a post treated because it had a lot of tanning stains on it, but as you guys can tell, man, looking pretty good. All spots don't come up with pressure washing. Those are not lines. The concrete is like that. You see my little soap still left over from my boy Don. <laughs> um, take you guys around the back. Show you the main course of this job, man. Fence came out fantastic. This is what we're looking like now. It's been sitting for a good hour, man. So that's the good color, man. Look at that. Real, real good color. Look at that. Looks just like the neighbors. Can't beat that, man. This is the inside. Yes, sir. Looking pretty good, man. Hey, 
everything is nice a little tedious took a little while but man look at this can't believe i just used sh on the wood pressure washing police are mounting up like my man um my boy harold marshy we got a 10 29er on uh on a uh, pressure washing police <laughs> <laughs> all right man i had a great day thank you god i made it through it didn't rain that much on me just a little drizzle but um as you guys can tell man it looks fantastic good good work right here man y'all stay tuned enjoy the video make sure you leave me a like man subscribe to the channel drop a comment and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video peace